I had the need to speak to the Vectrek folks about another issue, and while speaking to them about uh, something different and mentioning to them that I was uh, doing something with some gears, the topic of the Vectrek gadgets came up, something I knew nothing about. As you know, I'm, I'm relatively new to the world of CNC and the Vectrek software. And they pointed out to me that they have a gadget section of their website. And so you'll, if you'll type into your browser gadgets.vectrek.com, you will come to the Vectrek gadget library that also has some developer info and some blog and some news. I don't know how these guys do it. Uh, if you're a developer and you have the ability to develop your own gadgets uh, this is the place that you can get some help with that if you're like me that just uh, likes the gadgets here's where you go for those so click on gadget library and you'll get a download here and you've got some some gadget tool paths some gadget job and file management we'll come explore some of these at a later date but for right now I wanted to focus on here the Gear Maker Gadget, authored by a gentleman by the name of Ryan Patterson at CabinetPartsPro.com. And so you want to go ahead and download the gadget and install it. Very simple to do. Literally takes about a minute and a half. And then you open your Vectrek Aspire software and create a new file. And when you do, I'm going to use my defaults of 15 by 20, 3 quarter inch thick material, X, Y, 0 here in the lower left. We'll work in inches and click OK. And up here you have a gadgets menu and here is the gear maker. And so you get the gear maker gadget window that pops up here, your X, Y settings your XY uh, dimensions here, how many teeth do you want, what is the diametral pitch you're looking for, your pressure angle, line resolution, bore diameter, and uh, again, courtesy of uh, CabinetPartsPro.com, Ryan Patterson, create the gear. Thank you so much, Ryan. And there you go. There's your gear. Could not be easier than that. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, let's do that again. Gadgets. Gear maker. Let's go ahead and make one that's 13 by 13. With, uh, I don't know, let's do 30 teeth. Pitch, pressure angle, line resolution, create the gear. And there we go. Very easy to use, and then it's just a matter of uh, creating your toolpath. So we'll come up over here and switch to the toolpaths tab. We want to create a profile toolpath. Start depth at zero. We want to cut it all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and use an eighth inch. I have found that the eighth inch end mill seems to work a little bit better uh, to get some of the tight corners here, and so. Uh, set your speeds and fears, excuse me, feeds uh, that apply to your machine. You want to cut on the outside of the uh, vector. Um, no need to add any tabs. Make your settings and calculate. And of course, we're going to cut uh, through it, so it's going to give you the warning. And there's your toolpath. We will preview the selected toolpath. And there's your gear. Very easy to use. Coming up, I'll show you how we cut them out. I'm making a clock uh, that has some gears in it. So coming up next, we're going to show you how to cut it out. But there you go. That's the Gadget Gear Maker, courtesy of Ryan and the Vectrek.com people. Thanks again for watching. Work against the grain. My name is Jeff.
And so here we are, we have all of the gears cut out that I want to use for the clock. And as you can see here, it cuts them out beautifully. Got a little sanding done. But it's just, uh, it really gets them cut out nice. And they uh, really interact nicely, the gears. And we'll put these together and come back with part two of the clock build and show you how we put all these together. But I wanted to show you here today exactly how we created them in Vectrek, how we cut them out on the CNC machine, and what they looked like when, uh, when they came out. So I really appreciate everybody for watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.